Hi everybody, this is Nancy Bell and this is week three of Possibilities Weekly. Our uh, theme this week is discomfort and I'm sure a lot of you can agree that's something that we all try to avoid. So I'm feeling actually a lot of discomfort in this moment um, and it's showing up in my body, in my jaw and in my throat. So for me, I relate that back to my voice and um, being raised to be seen and not heard. And if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. All those old conditionings um, still affect me. And so I try and breathe and recognize that I can move through it. I can allow my body to help me process the information by nice, easy breaths. I have a special treat for you today. Um, I was recently in Molokai, Hawaii, uh, filming at a women's retreat. Tanya Carrier um, ran the retreat called The Reimagined Self, and she had women from all over the world come to participate. Uh, Tanya didn't have many rules, but there was one rule that uh, she invited the women to follow, and that was to resist the need to run to someone's aid if they were feeling uncomfortable. So I invite you to watch this video, and we'll see you next week. We fight so hard against feeling pain. And as women, we're taught um, pain is bad, should be hidden, shouldn't be shown. Uh, and how are we taught that? Because we're taught that as soon as you see it, you should save somebody from it. So it's like the backwards lesson, right? Save somebody, they're in pain. Make it better for them, because they probably couldn't make it better on their own. Um, soothe them because they probably couldn't withstand it. Uh, care for them because they probably couldn't take care of themselves through it. Right? We've taught that. In all, it's, so the, the underlying message is w at all costs make sure this doesn't happen. And it's, it's not the message of don't cause pain. I could get behind that. You know, it's the message of don't allow pain. And it's so lovely in this morning I said, you know, there is a, there are a few rules, but one of them is when you witness someone who is experiencing something deep, and it may be sorrow, maybe loss, it might be fear, it might be pain, it might be, you know, all these things which, you know, we often even call negative emotions. What is that? No, just emotions. Um, do not get up out of your seat and throw your arms around them and hush them or tell them it's all right or make it better. You can stand in solidarity with them, empathize, feel it, allow it to remind you of what you need to experience as you witness it, and just gently hold your heart so they know that you are there in compassion with them. But the minute you go over to them, you take away their power to actually just live through whatever that is. We all know that it is the alchemy of something. Every, every human knows that. Through. Go through it. There's no wisdom that says go up to it and then go around. <laughs> You've never heard that, you know? Never. So pain is, is no more to be avoided than happiness or joy. 
It's the same. They're the same palette. There's not positive. There's not negative. They all are. They're colors. You need them all. And you have the ability to go through them all. And if you can't experience sorrow or loneliness or despair, you also can't experience joy or happiness or elation. It's not possible. It's like if you can't exhale, you can't inhale. You know, you're, <laughs> it's just, they go, they go all together. And they don't distinguish. And I also say, you know, if you see someone crying, 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 why, why do we get so weirded out about crying? Crying is simply like when you read a sentence uh, and somebody's taken the time to put a word in bold, it means that that word's really important in that sentence, right? Well, that's what tears are. They just put that thing in bold. They say this right here is really important. That's all. Tears, bold. Now, if you met my grandmother, she'd tell you that it actually means you'd have to go pee. But <laughs> she had them all. Really? Yeah. Anytime we cried as kids, she'd be like, you have to go pee. Too much water in you. I'm like, as far as I know, my bladder, my tear ducts, not attached. <laughs> oh my God. Bless her. Um, yeah. <laughs>